at the St. Lawrence Seaway Eisenhower lot. Butter pecan, cherry garden. Get some snow right there. We got a hole in these tats. See all these maple leaves, maple leaves. Sugar makers like plastic. coming down all right welcome back party people we just left Vermont and we're in New Hampshire in the White Mountains National Forest and we're right here by Mount Washington and uh, you can see there in the background there's a train coming down the mountain that's the Cog Railway we were gonna ride it but we can't we don't have three hours allotted to ride on the train so. We can't drive it on the van because they won't let you drive a, a van up there. And I tell you what, they literally go straight up the side of the mountain. And there's a train coming down. And there's one right here, I think, behind us that's uh, getting ready to leave. It's a coal-fired train. Boy, the smell out here, it just smells like a, a coal plant, don't it? My phone says we're at 2613 here at the base of the Cog Railway, so that thing has to climb 4,000 feet. 4, feet, basically. Look at those mountains, it's beautiful up here. And it's actually pretty cool up here too. Nice cool breeze. There's a couple of them coming down the track at the same time. There's a more than one track. I don't know. I see one up there, at the, something at the top. They got some coal out here too. Yeah, it's on a chain. I bet it's got a sprocket. I bet it's got a big sprocket up under it that uh, pulls it. that pulls it up. Yeah, there's like ten black flies flying around my camera. So there's your big sprocket in the chain right here. Let me see it, the shiny part. Tractor there in the steam tractor. I reckon it's for you. Yeah. Huh. You, ever, you ever wondered where they, the person set it? I think you just stand back here, don't you? you? Drive it. Look at the size of that. It's like a roller. Some kind of seed forestry tractor maybe it's like the plows look at that cylinder on that sucker jesus 2700 national historic mechanical and civil engineering landmark first cog railway in the world 1869 that white one is almost to the top
time to get some railroad maintenance going on here, man. Party people. So uh, we're at a rest area at Twin Lakes in Maine, and uh, <laughs> I'll put the video in here. But uh, we came about three hairs and some air from busting on a moose last night that walked out in front of us. So. It just tried to ride out in front of us, and uh, swerved. He pulled his head back, and then there was another car coming the other way too, so I don't know what happened after that. Um, but you could, we could hear the moose calling last night. We stopped driving after that and pulled over to this rest area. But we're in uh, Baxter State Park. Those of you that know Baxter State Park, you see Katahdin in the background back there. That's the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. And this state park was given to the people of Maine by former Maine governor, First of all, Baxter, it's over 200,000 acres of mountains, forests, lakes, and streams, including Maine's highest mountain, Katahdin. We're going to drive into the state park today and try to give you some views, but this is a beautiful Twin Lakes, and uh, I mean, just couldn't ask for a better scenery out here this morning. State Park they said the moose might be at Sandy Stream Pond so uh, we're gonna head down to Sandy Stream but I got all, all of our information our contact our emergency contact gates close at 10 p.m. it gets dark about 8 30 here so um, might be able to see some moose this morning all right party people we're, uh, we're about eight miles in Baxter State Park up near uh, the Sandy Stream Trail. We got the old man hiking with me today. And uh, we're gonna head to the Sandy Stream Pond and see if there's any moose hanging around there. We brought some food, some water, lights, stuff to start a fire with, all kinds of stuff in case it uh, we get trapped out here, but the weather's looking a little bit iffy, but I hear the moose like the rain, so. He's doing good. It's kind of light out here, and it's an easy trail, so. There he's going. I'm going to walk down to this viewpoint real quick. This is 
just a uh, pull off here just down Walker's Point. Outdoor service. Rest, meditate, pray. Chapel by the sea, dedicated to the glory of God and the loving memory of Margaret Woodbury Strong. In grateful appreciation of her generous remembrance of St. Anne's, August 1974. Church doors are open. Oh, they might be doing service in there. I don't know. Look at those stained glass windows. Is that a boat? Or looks like they got some oars there. Goat Island Lighthouse. See it over there? That's, I guess that's Goat Island. A lot of commercial fishermen.